Hey Amit, uh, is this a convex lens? Uh, yeah, looks like it. Yeah. Uh, can we find the focal length of this lens? Yeah, certainly. Uh, yeah. Do you have a piece of paper lying around? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah, so what you do is hold the piece of paper vertical. Okay. And uh, you see there are uh, far away objects there, trees, buildings, etc. Yeah. So I'll create a real image of those objects on this uh, piece of paper. Okay. okay. So as I move this lens uh, back and forth like so there's one very special point yeah, where you wow. see, you clearly see the building and the trees over there. Wow, it looks really beautiful. Yeah. It looks better than the real thing. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's inverted, you see? Yeah. 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 So this is the real image. Okay. Now, uh, the distance yeah. at which the lens uh, creates a real image on the screen, that's what we call the focal length. Okay. So we can measure the focal length. Yeah. If we have a ruler line. Yeah. Down. I think so, somewhere here. Yeah. 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 So hold it again. I'll just... Oh, I can... So this distance is the focal length. Yeah. Could you just read that? I think that's around 20 centimeters. 20 centimeters. Yeah. So that should be the focal length of the oh. lens. Yeah. Can I try? Yeah. yeah. Wow. It looks really nice. Yes. But uh, this is the same thing that I'm seeing here. Is I mean, I'm seeing the buildings and the trees inverted there and the same thing I'm seeing here. Exactly. That's because you're seeing the same image actually. The same real image that we created on this paper here. That is the same image that you're seeing with your eyes. Oh, but I thought a convex lens forms a real image. Mm -hmm. And I mean, uh, can I see a real a real image or should it, shouldn't it be captured on a screen? Yeah, so that's a good question. It's a common misconception that the real images can only be captured on screens. Oh. It's true that real images can be captured on screens okay. and virtual images cannot be. Okay. But you don't really need a screen to be able to see a real image with your eyes. Oh, is it? Is there some way we can verify this fact? Definitely. Is there somewhere I can... Yeah, I can convince you that it's true. Yeah. Shall we go to the lab? Sure. So here we have a convex lens and uh, I have kept an object here, a source of light, which is kept at a distance of 2f from the convex lens. Hmm. Now if I turn this bulb on, so we know from uh, the lens formula and our basic knowledge of uh, ray diagrams hmm. that the image should be formed on the other side yeah. at a distance of 2f. So this is kept at 2f, is it? That is kept at 2f. Okay. And now I'm uh, seeing the image created by that object at a distance of 2f. You can see that it's being captured on this piece of paper. Here. Yeah. Right? So that small thing, what we are seeing is the bulb. That is the filament of the bulb. That's the filament of the bulb. So the small thing you see is just the filament of the bulb. Okay. And you can see that this distance yeah. at which it is focusing is roughly the same distance yeah. as uh, yeah. the distance between the lens and the bulb. Yeah. So it is at 2f here. Okay. Right? So we have a real image here. Okay. Fine. So, uh, but we discussed that the real image need not be captured on a screen, right? You, exactly. said, you said we can see it anyway, it has to be a real image. Exactly. So, we can capture it on the screen, but yeah. it need not be captured on the screen. Okay. So, why don't you just uh, come on this side and uh, look through the lens okay. and tell me what you see. So, uh, I see the bulb. You see the bulb? Yeah. Exactly. But it feels, I, I mean... It looks as if it's the same size as the regular bulb. That's right. But uh, is the bulb uh, upright or is it inverted? Oh, it's inverted that side. It's inverted. Right. There it is inverted, but what you see here is upright. Right. Right. right? Yeah. So what you're seeing is not the bulb itself. Correct. You are seeing the inverted or the upright image of the bulb on this side of the lens. Oh, that's interesting. Right. But it feels as though it's behind the lens. It's, it doesn't. I mean, I st I'm still not convinced that it's here. Exactly. So yeah, it does feel that uh, it's on the other side of the lens, yeah. but that's actually an illusion. Okay. The real image is actually here. Okay. And uh, let's get rid of that feeling you have. Okay. Let me convince you that it's over here. Okay. Uh, so could you please get that uh, holder from there to sure. stand with the bulb holder? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. So let me place this on this side. So you see that there is an identical bulb on top of this holder. Right. right? So I'll just uh, place it exactly at 2f. Okay. Right. So I have placed it at a distance of uh, 2f from the lens. Okay. That means the real image should be coming right on top of this bulb. That's a property of the lens, is it? That is the property of the convex lens. It should come at 2f. Okay. Right. Now, uh, so what we can do is, uh, let's just uh, just come on this side and you look through the lens and see what you what you can see right now. 
uh, I'm looking at two bulbs. They seem to be uh, right next to each other. Right. So yeah. one is this one over here. Right. And the other one is the green bulb. Yeah. Right. Now, do they appear to be the same size to you, or? Uh... Yeah, they look like they're right next to each other. Yeah. And they're. I mean, it looks like it's right there. Exactly. It looks <laughs> like it's so exactly strange. the same size, right? Yeah. 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 yeah? Now just think about it, yeah. if the bulb that you saw, the green one, was on the other side of the lens, wouldn't it have appeared to look smaller to you? Yeah. Right? Yeah, further away and it would have been much smaller. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So the reason it appears to be of the same size as this bulb mm -hmm. is what you're seeing, the reason is what you're seeing is not that bulb, but its image which is right over here. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> and yeah, but I'm still not, you know, very convinced. I mean, don't you think this, there could have been a bigger object, mm -hmm. maybe somewhere here, mm -hmm. and that would have still looked the same as, you know, the same size as this. I get what you're saying. So I understand what you're saying. So you're asking, uh, how do you know that it is creating an identical sized image over here? Yeah. Maybe the lens is creating a larger image yeah. and placing it behind the lens, yeah. right? Yeah. So the image is larger, yeah. when, but when you look at it from here, it appears to be the same size exactly. as the bulb. Exactly. Right. So that's a good point. Just by looking at the size, mm -hmm. you cannot conclude that the bulb is right over here. Yeah. Right? So let's just think about this. How do we know how far away objects are? Right? How do we know how far away objects that we see are? So for example, how do you know the moon is a huge object, you know, roughly 2000 kilometers wide yeah. uh, and 400,000 kilometers away from us roughly. Yeah. How do you know it is an object that is so far? Mm -hmm. Maybe it is, you know, by looking at it from uh, the ground here, Maybe it is a tiny object that is right next to the terrace of our building, right? <laughs> yeah. So how do you know it's far away? Where do you get that intuition? Yeah, it's just, I mean, I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> <laughs> it's just every day you look at it and somehow it feels very far. Away. Exactly. There is some sense that we have, uh, yeah. right, yeah. for objects that are uh, far away. There is some intuitive way we can figure it out, Correct. right? So the way we do this is large objects that are far away Right? When we move around, they don't move significantly in our, uh, in our view, in our field of view. For example, when we look at the moon from a moving car, it appears to be stationary in our field of view, while the nearby objects like the road, street lamps, etc. appear to move. That's because the moon is far away. When you look at the trees outside from the window of a moving car, the trees that are close seem to move quite fast and the trees that are far appear to move slowly. So this phenomenon is what we call parallax. So we saw just now that farther away objects move slower in our field of view than nearby objects. Yeah. So do you think we can use that here uh, in our apparatus? Yeah, uh, I think maybe as I thought before, if the object was, if the image was bigger and farther away, say mm -hmm. here, uh, compared to this object, this would have probably moved faster and this would have moved much slower exactly. when I look at them. Yeah, exactly. Right? Shall we try that out? Yeah. So just uh, stand there yeah. and move your head side to side. Okay. And you see two, both the bulbs now, right? Yeah. The real one here and the image that is formed. Yes. Yeah. So move your height, head uh, side, side to side. Wow. They move together. They move exactly in. Exactly together. Yeah. yeah in sync. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so right now, amazing. right? Yeah. So now we know that uh, the image has to be here. Yeah. It cannot be farther away. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But. I mean, is there is there more evidence? I'm uh, I feel that I'm getting more convinced now. Yeah. Are there okay. any other ways? Let's let's try one more thing, right? Yeah. So I'll move this uh, bulb a little bit. Okay. Now, yeah. Look through the lens and tell me what you see. Uh, Do you see two bulbs now? No, I just see one bulb. You just see one bulb, right? So it feels that, you know, this bulb is hiding the other one. The other yeah. one is behind this, right? Yeah, the other now, one is completely hidden. Hidden. Yeah. But now, if the other one was behind, when you move around, yeah. you should be able to peek behind this bulb and see the other one. Right. Can you do that? <laughs> no, I can't see that. I can't see the other like I can just see this one. Exactly. No matter how much you move, you cannot see the one that is behind this, right? So that's because the image is not behind this. It's actually right on top of this bulb. That's why okay. I can't see it exactly. when I go like this. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that's becoming more and more evident now. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. But what if I go very close to this? I mean, shouldn't it become very big? If the object is here, say, 
if that image is really falling here exactly good question let's try that out yeah so i'll remove this bulb from here and i'll uh, light this one up okay now if you go very close to this point yeah. you should see the bulb get huge and become blurry because you are actually going very close to the bulb try that out mm, yeah it seems as though the bulb is right here yeah it has gotten very bright yeah it's right? gotten very bright <laughs> i can actually see the circle on your eye oh, of really? the bulb <laughs> It's right there. Yeah. <laughs> so I think uh, this should I mean, be. Yeah, in that place, if I had put a bulb here, uh -huh. and that was off, I would have seen the same thing. Right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's really amazing. <laughs> but although, I mean, if I go out of the lens, mm -hmm. the bulb disappears. It's only mm. within that part I can see the bulb. Correct. So if you move a bit too much to the right or to the left, yeah. uh, the image disappears. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that is the one thing that uh, puts this illusion in place. Okay. So we feel that if I move too far out, we don't see the bulb. Right. So we feel that the image that we see should be inside the lens. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So let's see in the ray diagram what's actually going on here. Yeah. So this is our convex lens. And uh, let's say this is the axis of symmetry or the principal axis of the lens. Yeah. And uh, our bulb is at twice the focal length. Right? Now, uh, rays coming out of this bulb, we know that convex lenses converge them, yeah. right? And they converge them and they meet at 2f on the other side. Right. Okay. Right. Now, the thing is, when do we actually see something? In order to see an object, mm. light from the object should come into our eyes, mm. right? Mm. That is the necessary condition for us to be able to see something. Right. Now you see the light coming from this lens mm. is restricted only to this region over here okay. and this region over here, okay. right? So if your eye is somewhere over here, we won't be able to see. You don't get the light from the object. You don't get the light that is passing through the lens, right? Okay. Okay. So your eye has to be somewhere over here okay. within this. Uh, region which is in the shape of a cone basically okay. so your eye has to be in that region for you to be able to see the image so i could see the bulb here and my eye was moving somewhere here exactly. and when i was moving here i yes. couldn't see it because light was not falling exactly so if your eye goes out of that cone if you move too far to the side your eye will go out of that cone and you won't be able to see the image right okay. but if your eye is over here and yeah. you want to see the image one thing you could do is you could keep a piece of paper or a screen here Right? Yeah. Now what happens is, uh, the light falling on the screen hmm. is reflected off in various directions. Okay. And if your eye is over here, for example, hmm. then you can see the image on the screen. So what you are seeing on the screen is actually the reflection of... Exactly, right? yeah. The real image that was formed here is uh, reflected by the screen in various directions and therefore you can see it from anywhere you stand. So that is the misconception which we had that... The real image has to be captured on a paper. Exactly, exactly. Actually, yeah. we can always see it. You can always see it as long as you are in a specific region. If you are outside that region, you do need a screen. Wow. <laughs> so that answers my question. Exactly. Okay.